So tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from and when did you start to play football? Uh, I'm from Babita in Latvia, a small town near the capital city. I started playing football when I was about four, four or three years old. Um, I um, I, is it on? I um, I first started playing for a team when I was about seven, and then yeah, from there, just quite quickly, you know, I spent a few years there, and then. Uh, joined West Ham when I was about 15. So that was kind of the start of my football career. And what was it like going from playing in Babita in Latvia to playing in West Ham? Was there anything specific you learned while playing in Latvia that helped prepare you for West Ham? There was nothing that I learned in Latvia um, that prepared me for what I, what was to come in England. It was completely, completely different, a completely different world. Like it took me um, ages to adjust, but when I finally did, it took me about two years really to like adjust to the, everything. And um, but when I finally did, it was quite. Just, I had quite a good run for a while. Um, where I re did really well, like in terms of like on the pitch, in terms of like football skills. Like I had some some really good coaching in Latvia, so like that was the good part. But outside of that, the the whole culture around football in England and um, like how people approach it, the pressures, like what what is expected of you as a foot professional footballer, it's completely different um, from going from a grassroots club to really a Premier League club. Um, it was a massive like shift. You know, I couldn't believe it at first. As you have played for the U18 and U23 West Ham sides, did you get an opportunity to train with the first team? And if so, how did it go? Yeah, I trained with the first team a lot. When I was about, um, I think I first trained with them when I was about 16. And then in the season when I was about, in the season when I was 17, 18, that was my uh, that was that was my best season at the club, um, and I did I, I trained a lot with the first team, and I did really well sometimes. So like I went to the first team a couple of times and I did really well. So then I just started going there more more and more often. And like I think I was going there about once a week that season, and next season even more like twice a week. Really, like it was quite a lot of training with them. Um, yeah, it was really, really good most times. Um, at the end of my time there, it was a bit, um, I wasn't as motivated and like I just felt, you know, like rightly or wrongly, I think I still, you know, really had a chance to earn a contract at the club, like now looking back at it. But like at the end of my time there, like I wasn't maybe as motivated and, you know, just I didn't do so well. But like at first, you know, um, like it was really kind of encouraging when you're, you know, I remember, like, I used to make a lot of saves from Mitri Payet's shots. And, like, even though, like, he would put them in the corner, I would still save them. Like, that would be, like, I'd, be I'd, go, I'd go home, like, really, really happy afterwards. And, um, like, I remember watching him play in the World Cup in, um, I think it was in France. And, he, like, he was scoring a goal from, like, 30 yards out against Ukraine. I'm thinking, like, I was just saving this guy's shots in the training ground. And now he's doing this on TV and the whole world watching. So it was quite quite an experience. Yeah, it's a very cool experience. What 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 is the biggest difference between playing youth football for Premier League side and playing non-league football with Barnett? Uh it's probably like people are the biggest difference is the fact that in in youth football, like really nobody really cares about those games. Like there's no pressure on you. Like if you make a mistake, like the coaches might tell you that that's not acceptable or like you need to do better. But like you're not gonna get get stick off people. And the same goes with like coaches. For example, 
if they put you in goal and you make a mistake in the under 19s game, it's like nobody's going to say anything at all to them. Whereas, like, if the manager puts you in in a non league team or like a lower league club and you're a young player and you make a mistake, there's a lot of pressure on the manager too, like from the fans. Like, if the results go wrong, he could get sacked basically because of you. So the pressures are like completely different. And I think that's the biggest thing. And like from there, everything else, like people don't pass the ball around as much around the back. Um, the players that make it, like, first of all, you need to be able to do your job. Like as a defender, you need to be able to defend and only then you can pass the ball. Like, you know, you need to do the basics, right? And if you can't do that, then whereas like in the Premier League Academy sides, you know, there's a lot of people who can do like flicks and tricks, but they can't pass the ball. Like they can't do the simple things. And like that's what makes a football. I think like that's the biggest difference where people like just do, you know, like the football is fake basically in, in the youth teams, in the youth team games. Like people, 23 games, not so much, but also quite, but like people just pass the ball around the back, lose it. The other team scores, like nothing happened. So that's, you know, there's no pressure on them at all. And how did it feel when you got called up to play for the Latvian U17s? And how did you find out about getting the call up? Oh, um, well, I was expecting, I was pretty much expecting it because uh, I had been at the national team set up for a while. And like it was, it wasn't, you know, crazy news or anything but I mean obviously it's always you know it's always uh, an honor an honor to get a call up from the national team you know I'm always very happy to go and represent my national team and uh, yeah it felt great but I did kind of expect it it wasn't a, much of a surprise since I was since the very start um, I was in the setup even like from like 14 to 13 years old you, you do like selection camps and stuff and from there I kind of knew who who my um who my main competition was and you know how I would do against them and is there anything that you wish you would have done differently in your career yeah I mean uh, when when I was at West Ham um, there was a lot there was a lot of things that I wish I would have done differently. Um, one of them probably just literally just doing what people ask of you. Like if, if a coach tells you to do something, you just do it like on the, not like off the pitch, but like on the pitch, you know, you don't. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it, but like, you know, whatever you're told, you just go and do it. And like, you, you just try to, you start, you try to stay at, at the Premier League club as long as possible and maybe if after leaving West Ham I probably could have signed for another academy another pretty big club but I chose to go to Barnet I mean I learned a lot being a first team club so you know you never know and I mean I had some really good coaches there which um, I'm grateful for like I, I improved a lot when I was at Barnet but um, like it would have been a lot easier to find a club in England now if rather than like somebody having to pay compensation for me and me trying to go up the leagues to just take a step down take a step league down is a lot easier than trying to find a club going up and now that you are back in back in Valmeda in Latvia what are your goals for the season with your new club well first of all I want to get playing as soon as I can like I feel like I, I feel like I have a good opportunity here to you know grab the f number one shirt and keep it. Um, so you know that's my main kind of goal. Just play as many games as I can. I'd like to get about thirty games this season. Um, you know I think that's fairly reasonable, like including cups and whatnot. Um, so that's that's literally all it is for me. I'm just I just want to play games, and the other goal is to get in national team set up. I want, like, the goal I set for myself is to get a national team set up for in June when the camp, um, there's a camp in June, and I'd like to be in the national team set up by then. And last question was, who was your idol when you were growing up? Better check, 100%. Just no. I, he, I just looked up to him all the time. 
Um, unfortunately, never really got to see him or train with him or anything like that. Um, but yeah, like Petr Cech was somebody I looked up to. I still remember like watching him in Champions League making saves, you know, that's what, that's why I wanted to become a goalkeeper because of, you know, people doing it like that. Okay, thank you for, for, the, for the interview, Paul Dias. Thank you.